Another door. Um, hi. Those you have removed from punishment were Perpetua and Esdras, foundling siblings who went on to be part of His Holiness God. It was said that Perpetua could speak to her brother even after death. For twisted are the paths of the miracle. Uh, actually, maybe I should do the anywhere I talk to him because, yeah, I, I didn't fight him. If I didn't meet Perpetua, then I could fight Sorrowful him. Sorrowful be the heart. Yeah. Let's explore here a little. I think he told me to go back to the Brotherhood or something. Oh, another. Closed door. Oh, no. don't think. Quick silver. Maybe I needed some item here. On the secret floor, I will be safe. They will hear neither my footsteps nor my fear. The miracle won the oranges from those trees to make no sound of falling, so that only the wind through the columns and buttresses could be heard. Now I hear only the horrific screams of those punished by the miracle. I will wait patiently. Oh! I thought that the floor was breakable, but I didn't expect it to instantly break like that. Oh. Getting a boss used to cause that. Sometimes I hit it, sometimes I can't. I was before. Yeah. Uh, Fibula of Risp the Ranger. Risp Scrimshaw was known for his reckless nightly walks in the woods. He said they helped him think about what was beyond, beyond even the high wheels. Mm. This is death.
Yeah, that's what I wanted to know. No, damn. is the way back. Symbol. Horns braided with enormous patience by callous hands, creating a protective symbol. Only a unwavering conviction could prompt the creation of an item like this, and this feeling permeate its prickly surface. It protects its wearer from damage through contact. Uh, interesting. I'm still inside the creature. What? I can hear its war outside. I can hear the thunderous beating of its heart. I just wanted to sleep, but I saw the miracle in my dreams. And it spoke to me. That is why I lie down in the lady's open arms. But the miracle appeared to me again. It was more and more tangible. Then I woke up, but I was no longer myself. I was a prisoner trapped inside a rooted body. A body immersed in constant anger, in constant pain. I am awake in a sleeping body. Uh, what do I have equipped? What are the from enemies? Uh, of course, I've went strong objects and yeah, not really useful. Uh, usually, it's the same as damage that I have to, to heal by myself. No. Stop! my back hang on oh the seems I thought could break
Uh, olive seeds. A handful of seeds carefully preserved. The stones of the olives were mashed into an oil. The stones of the olives were mashed into an oily engage. Be essential to the bag of any healer. Confession of Tears, part 4. On one of the nights during which the young man agonized, a terrible febrile tremors, the wounds that plagued his body spreading more and more, I approached him so distraught that I held him in my arms, and, shedding tears, I kissed him on the forehead. While I felt the ardor of his forehead on my lips, I noticed the young man was opening his eyes and looking at me, his agony apparently gone. All of a sudden. So that really worked. I thought it worked. I, mean, I read one about the miracle that he actually healed and started this practice, this group, but I then I thought it will actually work between practitioners like that. He dreamed on a, a track troll. Is the one from here? I am not sure about the name of this poem. Uh, uh, of Luca the tailor. He dreamed all his life of making beautiful clothes for the nobility, but nearing the day of his death, the only thing he had the opportunity to seal was were San Benitos. I don't know where San Benitos. I could throw something with that. Yeah. Oh, you're here. Penitent one, heed my confession. Cowardice taketh root inside of me in the face of this new test by the grievous miracle. Who are we pilgrims, if not sinners who have chosen wandering as the gentlest of penances? Oh, let my bent back cover my tears. Oh, Penitent this. one, may thy trade silence neither thy spirit nor thy frame. Why doesn't go for Oh! Right, thou hast purged my fears and helped this poor pilgrim again. We have chosen different roads, but still, absolution awaits at the end of the path for thee and this sinner. Wherever it is, near or far, in this life or on the other side of the dream, merciful be the heart, penitent one. Uh, what is this black big toe? This big toe with a lifestyle and toe from the statue of the first barefoot pilgrim. Did I see the statue somewhere? Will I see it? Uh, this strong big toe left its mark on the secret roads. Adds extra trust while in air. Extra. And he went on to say, a genuine genuflection. Genuflecting pilgrim will always have his hands tied behind his back during his travels, as his feet are the only thing that should matter to him, for that is our rule. Okay, I didn't really see the point on that. What is this extra thrust in here? Oh, 
mother of mothers. No. the three words. Here is where the first miracle took place. One devout and tormented youngster asked the high will for punishment. He placed a wooden log where he sat and prayed. He prayed hoping to be heard. He prayed for pain so he could ease the guilt that sharply pierced his soul. Then, the miracle manifested itself. It made roots grow and twists over his arms and legs, but not a cry nor a complaint came out from his mouth. Every inhabitant of this land bore witness to it. And all of them prayed before the besought eternal joy of that youngster. This triune tree that sprouted years after his death was named the Knot of the Three Words. For three are its twisted trunks, and three were the words spoken by that youngster before he died. My great guilt. Every year from its core flows a golden burning liquid perpetuating his memory and perhaps to remind us that the first miracle has not abandoned us. For twisted are, were, and will be the paths of the miracle. The Knot of the Three Words he played. It made every in this triune tree. Every for twi. Be so close to the three words. Oh, oh, no.
No, let's continue here. Okay, so that's another elevator. It's probably from the library. Ah, oh, all the tears of the sea. Now I'll be able to open those doors. Oh. Huh? Ah, oh, there's a crossover. I'm planning on playing that afterwards. Faceless warrior, stay thy course. I sense a heavy burden within thee, although I can neither see thy face nor hear thy voice. Forgive my manners. My name is Miriam. This place of crimson shadows has summoned me. Something in this suffering land, a will that eludes my understanding, decided that I alter the course of my journey and brought me to this place. And if it has sanctioned this meeting, it must be because we are being put to the test, destined to mutually help one another under its watchful gaze. This crystal that lies before us is what allows me to travel to distant lands. But, as you can see, it is cracked and its magic extinguished. To restore it, I must find the shards that are scattered throughout your world. I beg you, allow me to show you one of them. It lies beyond this door. Oh. He's out running. This is one of the portals of the Blue Rose that guard each and every one of the crystal shards. The force of its magic will not allow me to enter. Pray, help me, anonymous warrior. Enter in my stead and retrieve the shards. I must return to my kingdom, and I must not tarry. Uh, is this like a side quest DLC, or would, can this also bring me to another ending? That was added afterwards. Um, what's not here? Nothing. Yeah. Since it's not dangerous here, it is super passage me. Oh, I have time, I <laughs> didn't notice. You like just die or something? Okay. No, I press up. No, I couldn't. I thought I thought it was high enough. My jump.
Where is she? Oh, okay. Oh, that's a big shark. I thought that would be more. Look, the portal of the Blue Rose has closed. The shard has returned and the crystal is reforming. I beg thee, help me retrieve the remaining shards. What's the name of this place again? All the tears of the sea. Look, the journey in crystal is restoring itself. I feel its magic growing strong again. Pray, help me retrieve the remaining shards. Yes, this was added with the DLC or the expansion. I'm not sure if it's an expansion or DLC. Uh, but I don't think this would add another ending. This just look more like a new side quest that maybe would give me. Special item. Oh, that's strong. Oh. Oh. Okay, I thought. Going forge as well. Mm. Trapezoid of Jaeger, the jeweler. Uh, I'm justly sentenced to the stake by order of Ashigan the Inquisitor. Tyrant Jaeger's family became ashes. Blinded by revenge, he forged a ring with the remains. A ring that is now believed to be cursed. Do I have it? Uh, no, the. Yeah, those are equipable items, but well, he could place a ring there. But I don't think I have um, a ring here. Uh uh, shots, you know, no. I don't think I have the his cursed ring. Hmm, I can buy that. No. Ah, oh, damn. Gem that gives off an intense aroma of incense. In the Mother of Mothers, the ornate incense burners were filled with precious gems and beads, consecrating them with their vapors. This amethyst comes from the greatest of them all, and its blessing gives the wearer great protection against magical attacks. Ah, I had something that gave me some protection, I guess. Like the text, flying. Well, uh, slightly protects. Now this is stronger. 
protect the jewels and their precious stones. All the precious stones, all the gold from those chests to consecrate him. For today we will clothe the saint and raise his body to the highest. So far. Oh, we vanished. Yeah, we vanished. Chapel of the Perpetual Agony, I never bring myself to enter it. She still screams in pain, like the very first day they brought her here. A living miracle, they said. The miracle granted her wish, and now we pray to her, watching her endless ordeal. Just spent three in the same room. Uh, how did I draw? Popular among the bishopric. Bishopric. I don't think I ever saw that word. I understand what it means, but bishopric. Uh, June Sayers seduced and corrupted the will and vow of chastity of many in the priesthood, but her immunity ended when the first ashes fell to the ground. First ashes. Oh, I can keep climbing there. 
Uh, don't need you. Like an Orlando or something. Uh, there's nothing here. There should be something here. Semnok, the guardian. Uh, the Anadian Legion included Semnok among his reign, its ranks, guardian and barrier of the sigil of the Two Street. He fiercely protected the gates of town even after chaos had arisen.
Just that I bought the elevator down the elevator soon. Hey, there's a door up here. I don't remember. Ah, here as well. What those rooms were. Oh! Hey! You see, like the guy that I avoided fighting. Sign of protection that frees its bearer from pain. The wounds appeared uh, in the flesh of the lady once swore to suffer instead of her wards. Soko spent her childhood in a village which lined a road of church prisoners condemned for their crimes and sins, frequently traversed. From the window of her room, she could see how the prisoners climbed a hill in a line so that when they reached the summit, they would be ready for the punishments and physical tortures reserved for them until they died. But what does that do? Another one. I I don't have enough help to find more. I have my lung equipped. No. Uh, this is for the blood. So the tools. Oh, come on. Oh, can I? Okay, so I have something. No, oh, okay. This is part of it to that, so... Oh, that was good. I take the next of my deep pains. <laughs> uh, but I better re equip that because I may get past at that body and don't realize I could talk to it. If I don't have that equipment. Oh, okay.
perfect. Oh. Uh, well, there doesn't seem to be much, many more paths around here. But this one will... I think I'll have to go back another time, so... I'll go for you. This shard is annoying with oils that inflame the soul. Sacred fury increases the strength of those who wield the surge, while at the same time lowering their defense. No, I don't want to equip that. Father, eh, as he always is after a procession, the ground was filled with puddles of blood from the form of penitents, who harmed themselves with every excruciating step. But as I prayed on the windowsill, Watching the, watching the nine reflected on their holy reddish line, I noticed that someone, a cloaked figure, had begun collecting the, the blood in a shiny metallic container. The figure you speak of, my son, must be none other than the roaming gypsy, the merchant they call Candelaria, a sage to some, a witch to others. She was collecting their blood. Okay, so I guess I am going down. Oh, it kind of looks the same. Uh, Femur of Carpo, the bounty hunter. Carpo, nicknamed the Daring, was a third bounty hunter at the source of the Bishop of Custodia. Carpo had a church motto: "Get rid of everything, and you will have nothing to lose." I don't remember what are those for again. It's just a collectible with no explanation. I have witnessed the exhumation of the Archbishop. I have witnessed how they cleanse his bones in wine so to then dress him in silk and gold. I saw them place the most beautiful jewels on his face and kiss his forehead. I watched as they placed I watched as they placed rings on his fingers and kiss his hands. They lift him up, calling his name and sway him to make it look as if he was walking again. Oh, 
Oh, this area is large. This no. Oh, there's a boss here. No, I don't need you. But I, I, I'll finish the game first, then I'll check. But I think there's gonna be. Oh, the bishop. Oh, before carrying the bishop. Okay. have a path forge there. Just let me check. There may be like a teleport or something here. So I should check what this path leads to. Oh great. This enhances my storage doesn't it as well. And this is uh, okay, the charge attack. 
Uh, okay, this is just a first hit on the combo, an upward combo, and a downward combo. And this one, Secret Onslaught. Uh, reach the maximum level mastering the Art of Lunge. Meacopa cuts the air in such a way that it manages to produce wave that also produces damage above and below the plate. Oh, that's pretty good. I don't think I would use this too much. Oh, it's a spinning attack, it's just not just a downward combo, it's painting. One performs a spinning attack as combo finisher. Hmm. Uh, optimize the way Miyakopo concentrates its power using a sharp blade. It's sharp turns instead of the blade, allowing the painting one to perform the devastating attack much faster. Uh, okay, so I... Maybe stronger as well, maybe. But it's a faster strong attack uh, okay this would be more useful can I buy this as well okay and I can buy this uh, and okay that was that seems good I don't usually use that I think I tested it on some enemies but I the only time I actually tried to use this in a fight was here, and just once it didn't it let me open for too long. What's that? This looks like another boss fight. Who was that? The front mask of Orestes. Oh. Oh. Artifact found in the hands of a dead Archdeacon uh, in the dreamed world. In a dreamed world. Uh, so that was a dream? Confessions of Orestes. My forces are decreasing. I fear that the sacred mission that your most illustrious has interests entrusted to me is beyond our abilities. The others are mistaken. If the answer were to were so easily found, I would not have ventured into this place, crossing the boundaries of the flesh. My time, limited as already was, has not been enough to unravel the unfathomable mysteries of this dream kingdom. This land that my ignorance and pride have turned into my grave. I find consolation in knowing that the mask will remain with me, thus eluding ungodly hands in the same way that the answers I saw have managed to elude my useless scrut scrutiny. scrutiny. Oh, it's I see okay. everything from the highest point of the tried tree in which the miracle has reincarnated. 